Welcome back to the Steady Show, Steady Family. As always, I want to say thank you for your support. Our channel is growing, and that's because of your support. So we appreciate that. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. As always, Steady Voice. Yeah, today we're going to talk about what COVID-19 has taught us. And um, I'd love for the viewers to comment on what COVID-19 has taught them. But Steady, Bo Steady Boss, what has it taught you? It's a very, very good question. And um, yes, we definitely want to hear from our viewers, you know, about what they've learned from COVID-19 and this quarantine situation that we're dealing with. So. What have I learned? Mm -hmm. Listen, the mere fact that I have to be walking around in a mask in public says that. <laughs> I don't know if there is anything else I need to learn. We're talking about you, you go from breathing freely mm -hmm. to hardly being able to catch breath. It's, it's very rough for me. I don't know about anybody. <laughs> rough true. I'm wondering about people who are asthmatic and have those issues. It must be very, very rough for them. So. Yeah, for But it, it, it really, you know, it really helps me to understand the mortality of life, especially, you know, around the, the early stages. Mm -hmm. The people just have dropped left, right, and center. That's true. Like, it's, it's very rough. How about yourself? Yeah, um, I think I think it has taught me that there's just something, and this is just my view, that there's just something bigger than us, outside of us, that is pushing us to be better. Like, when you look at technology and how fast we've had to run and in such a short space of time, mm -hmm. the fact that COVID-19 has forced us to sit in one place and reflect on our life, I'm like, okay, this there is something out there. There is yeah. something that's bigger than us. And saying, hey, be, be a better version of yourself. Yes, yes. Um, when it comes on to plans, you you have to make plans, because you know around March, April, or April, May, mm -hmm. you know this thing, the ex, the reach of COVID nineteen even affected my my the job I worked. You understand me but the good thing is that i had plans and basically I, it, it all was able to play out in my favor mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. i had planned before so you if you never learned before and covid caught you off guard <laughs> you really have to learn to plan 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 for the unexpected you have to mm -hmm. expect the unexpected mm -hmm. yeah it's true it's true it's true one of the things i learned too was that I mean, take some time to get to know yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're so caught up in everything around us and the people around us, the yeah. activities, the events, and we really don't take oh, take time out to know ourselves. All the the one bag of extrovert them. Well, one go back to party. Well, one go back to the door. Well, one go back to school. Well, one go back to work. And I understand, especially you know, money is necessary. Yes. But outside of the crowd, outside of the party, who am I? Mm -hmm. outside of somebody else what oh, do i man. like you know I, I i found in in this quarantine that i like myself i like my own company yeah so you have to take some time to really reflect yeah. on your life and not just live for the outdoors of what's going on externally mm -hmm. you know covid has helped me to realize how blessed we are as jamaica i mean <laughs> when you look at the world scale and how we've handled the, the pandemic versus the world, I think we did a very good job. I have to commend our Prime Minister yeah. and um, yeah. the Health Minister and their teams for the excellent job. When it came on to um, informing the people what's going on and they're still doing it right now, mm -hmm. I think it's been a good job. So I think we've done a good job. We've had our issues, but for the most part, we've handled it very well and something to be proud of. Yeah, and that's not even a political plug, it's just a fact like yeah. Jamaicans abroad, we're very proud to give yeah. the Jamaican stats yeah. while the world around us <laughs> yes. seems to have been crumbling and yes. so so. And for the Another very video. first time, Jamaicans now welcome the body for foreign. Jamaica became the new foreign. With a foreign, with a foreign for foreign people, or with a foreign for foreign things. Money. Uh, no, I don't, the money. We we still deal with the money. Yeah, with the money. 
<laughs> yeah. Alright, so but one of the things I think again people are from here in today is like COVID nineteen has taught me not to be careless. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be totally carefree, right. but I don't want to be careless. Yeah. And to be careless I mean you know it, just surround yourself with careless people. Yeah. So you in a your nice little zone, you're quarantined, you're all right, but you're still surrounding yourself with people who don't care nothing at all about quarantine. And you can't afford to let them affect you. Right. Yeah. So there are just these people <laughs> in our lives. You. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there are just these people in our lives that go out, them engage the world anyhow they want, and then we let them back into our lives and then come and infect no, us no with something that we're not even ready to deal with. And I'm not even talking about Corona. I'm mm-hmm. talking about life in life general. Life in general. Some people yeah. just need to stay away. Yeah. COVID has taught me to appreciate family and friends because the truth is that no one is Preach. guaranteed the next moment, no one is guaranteed um, tomorrow. So, you know, you have to appreciate life. Like, you know, so many persons have lost their friends and family members this year. And to them, I just want to say condolences, stay strong. You know, it will get better. And this too shall pass. But we really have to learn to appreciate our family, friends, and just our blessings. Everything that we have going for us. Yeah, and on that note, I mean, it's just so sad that we're just losing people, and it's, I don't think there's a, even anything we can do without about it. Mm-hmm. And then it just leads me to the whole idea of, in the middle of the pandemic, here is George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmad Aubrey, all these black people being killed, and it just... I guess people it's a being killed lesson. right in our country, Jamaica, exactly, as well. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But it leads me to the whole idea of color. Uh, of race, the black skin, mm-hmm. and for the weirdest reason, I guess it's, it's a weird lesson, but it's a lesson nonetheless that I took from all of this, um, is that you have to love the skin you're in, embrace the skin you're in, okay, of your color, your race, your ethnicity, embrace that, but embrace the skin you are in, it's it's important to, to just love yourself, because I realize that so many people around the world hate the dark skinned black. And you just have to love that if, if that's the skin you're in. Black ain't whack. <laughs> Don't <laughs> it. Yeah. Black is beautiful. It is. You know, COVID, on a different note, COVID has taught us that, you know, these weddings, funerals, and events, <laughs> <laughs> they can really be smaller. Yeah, and shorter. And shorter Don't you know, man. as well. Don't you know. Sometimes we need a little raining in as it relates to these things I'm, and I'm of the view that you know for people who, who like to stay home and don't like to mingle in the crowd this probably is a good time for them because oh. they're just basically doing what they've always done. This is done. their raining season. Shout, shout out to my introverts. <laughs> <laughs> this is their it's raining introvert season. introvert season man. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah and, and so what the last lesson I would I would say I take away from from COVID nineteen is just to be fearless. Yeah. Live your life fearlessly. Don't put yourself in a box. Don't just um believe I have this skill. I'm gonna work on this skill. I'm in this career. I'm just gonna work on this career because you're a dynamic individual. You understand? Right. Uh, don't, don't box yourself in. Do anything you've always wanted to do. Live free. Live like your wife. Own the world. (laughs) (laughs) Not own yourself back. But be careful. Mm -hmm. Be cautious of what's going on right now. (laughs) As Jamaicans, we're very resilient people. We're very strong people. And, you know, just like one of our very own say, you know, don't worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right so you know covid may have taken its toll on you but take heart my beautiful jamaican people everything is going to be all right big up on yourself enough love to jamaica and jamaicans right across the world this is the steady show saying thank you for viewing Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.